Hi guys, welcome back to my XVS guide. Now I'm gonna review Steadfast Soldier Makina. So let's begin from his stats. Like you know that he is a breaker, so I must say I think his attack stats is acceptable, okay? But compared to other previous DPS, free DPS, I mean, yes, he is inferior, okay? And like you can see that he only get 50% true dual wield, so yes, Offensive power is not his strongest point, okay? And don't worry that much because he also get 100% as per bonus stats. So that kind of compensate his lack of attack boost, okay? But still, you will see later that you shouldn't use him as an attacker, okay? And I think that's all you need to know about his stats, okay? Nothing particularly special for him. Okay, so let's take a look on his abilities. He can chain with Bolting Strike, so that's pretty good because he can chain with the other two Final Fantasy Type-0 characters, Rem and Ace, okay? For Element, he able to imbue Fire and Thunder elements, but for Imperil, he can Imperil extra Ice element, Fire, Ice, Lightning. That's pretty good because he can Imperil 120%. The 120% Imperil only lasts for two turns, but after that, you still get 100% in peril for those elements. Same for breaks. On the first two turns, he in peril 75% attack magic and defense and spirit. If you choose to break all of the stats, he can do that within one turn. But after two turns, you will stick with 70% uh, breaks. Okay, so if you want to keep 75% you need to recast it again every two turns which is kind of annoying and leave you very little time to do real attacking. I said real attacking because this breaks actually bolting strike move. So you can break while chaining at the same time which is pretty good. Okay, because not many characters able to do that. For example, Riku. Yes, Riku sure her breaks are better but when Riku mm, break she cannot attack I mean chain at the same time but for Makina he can do that but another problem is those breaks are only single target okay I have said this on the past it is not important but we get multiple enemies on trials at this point so that kind of make him unusable for most recent trial Okay, but if you use him as a support chainer, you can him what I mean you cannot use as For a breaker, but if you insist on using him as a breaker When fighting a lot of enemies you can do that if you able To spam his limit burst every turn. Yes, this is the only way you can make him into breaker Okay, because the 80% break only lasts for one turn and by making him a breaker, that means you cannot use his other uh, supports, okay, like chaining, etc. because it is from his LP. Okay, because yes, let's say you fight Chocobo, you fight five enemies, so you need to spam your LP, so yeah, basically you cannot use him on a battle where you fight multiple enemies that's why I suggest you because sure mm, if you able to pull this every turn but let's say if you die then it will be dangerous for your party because your party will go without any breaks and like you can see the damage on the table it is not amazing at all okay you can get 40 times damage per cast but the cooldown ability only give 20 times damage modifier only for one turn so yes not good as an attacker at all okay and as an extra like other new gen final fantasy type 0 characters he able to fill all allies lb gauge by 40 crystals which is amazing if you need some emergency l limit burst or setup on the beginning of the battle okay you can do that using Machina. Okay, and I think that's all you need to know about his abilities. Now let's talk about partner. 
So he is a Bolting Strike chainer, so having another character who is able to chain Bolting Strike, then it will be very good. For example, you can use the new Ace and Ram, very good, okay. But as a side support, I cannot remember who able to chain it Bolting Strike, okay. If you can, if you can remember, then please leave it on the comment, okay, because that is pretty good for him too. But talking about Makina, that means he is really slot efficient character, breaker and chainer at the same time. So that means you can bring finisher to your party. Okay, so you can bring, let's say, adventure and cloud, etc. And because finisher usually have limited element on them then having someone who able to imbue fire ice or thunder element on your finisher will be good that's why if you have luca Sylvie, then good luck okay against recent trials like i have been mentioned before this makina maybe not that great okay because most recent trial are multiple enemies consists multiple enemies okay i don't say it is not possible okay if you are really good on this game then yes you can use him on recent trial but talking about easy in quote time i don't think he will make an easy time for you if you use him on recent trial okay on the few past trials where you fight single enemies single enemy then he is really really great for example like emperor okay only one enemy that he is perfectly usable okay so enough about recent trial and partner let's talk about equipment i told you he is not good as a breaker against multiple enemies but if you still insist using him as a aoe limit breaker then yes gear him with lots of faster ability rate okay because you need to use your limit burst every turn the breaks only last for one turn so having my mas shift lb regen is useless because from what i know you can only get 12 lb per turn okay so faster lb rate is the answer but like i said okay don't use him as an AOE breaker okay because that will make his support chainer role useless because you need to spam your limit burst every turn you cannot use his amazing imperil okay so that's my tips for you and my conclusion for SS Makina I must say that yes he is really really amazing free breakers too bad that he comes too late because lots of trials consist multiple enemies okay so if you find a trial without multiple enemies he is perfectly usable okay 75 percent are pretty okay on today's standard okay but against aoe you probably want to use alafim you want to use riku okay because Yes, they can break um, 75% to 80% too. Okay? And I think if you are if you really lack breakers, I think you should wait for Van or Lakshmi lit. Okay, not force yourself with great breakers which I just mentioned to you. Okay, just wait until Van or Lakshmi lit. Until that point, you can use him as your breaker. If you kinda find a problem against multiple enemies, then yeah, simply don't need to haste on that trial, okay? Simply hold back. And that being said, I think the best feature of this Makina is the STMR. Wow, guys. Wow. This STMR is really insanely good, okay? Sorry guys, because yeah, it is just that good. I know that Quistis STMR is also good, but yes, basically this is 
on par with Fit STMR. And I have recommended to you on the past to get Fit Trust Mastery Word, okay? STMR, I mean, if you have, if you already handled your defensive aspect, okay? But yeah, if you don't have Fit, then this one is much better than Fit Cloud. That's already explain how amazing this STMR because I have recommend you to get faith STMR and this one comes free and better wow make sure you get this okay you won't get a second chance I think this is kind of too OP because remember like Final Fantasy like the old Final Fantasy type 0 event we have King's armor and because it is just too good, they never bring it back. Okay, so this item, I mean STMR, is pretty dope. For the Trust Mastery Award, it is also nice. Okay, 151 attack sword. I think it is the highest free in quote sword on this game. I know you can get better attack uh, from the trial, but yes, this is easily obtainable. So I must say it is decent too, okay? But the dual wield ability may be not that useful for many characters. Some of you say, cheat, cheat, cheat. Yes, you can do that, okay? But how many of you still using cheat? Okay? So yep, I think that's all you need to know about Makina. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy Prefix Views Guide. Bye-bye, guys.